Are you someone who has learned data science and struggling to get data science job or you are planning to transition your career into data science in 2024 If yes this video is for you Hi my name is Rohit and I'm founder of interview.ai and in today's video I will share you my 10 years of experience in terms of how to get data science job in 2024 Let's get started To get a data science job there are three main steps. First step is learning data science in a right way. Second step is getting shortlisted for a data science interview. And third step is cracking data science interview. So we would go through all these steps in detail in this particular video. Now when you talk about learning you have to make sure that you are learning from right people right platform. Because today there are many platforms which are not giving industry relevant curriculum or they are not having right kind of mentors. so you should learn from people who have actually worked in the industry and that's the kind of curriculum you should go through because that would set your fundamentals really really well and when you learn data science and machine learning during your learning phase you have to ensure that you are building lot of projects for every machine learning model that you are learning because if you do that your fundamental understanding of machine learning algorithms would be very strong as compared to other people in the market because i would tell you 50% of the people are getting out of the market in data science jobs just because they are not learning data science in a right way so you don't that make that mistake and make sure that you are learning data science from a right way and from a right person so that is the first step the second step now is how to get lost shortlisted for the job right now for getting shortlisted for any job there are two things first thing is your cv needs to be outstanding and second thing is networking Now when we talk about CV your CV needs to be created in such a way that it looks relevant for data science job. So for example if you have any previous experience related to the programming or any experience related to database technologies data analysis or any domain knowledge if you have if you have worked in automotive domain or pharma domain all those important points which are relevant for data science role should be highlighted in your CV. Because if you do that your chances of getting shortlisted will be much much better. The second thing is as you have not worked as data scientist before right as a hiring manager we can only see your projects what kind of projects you have built that's the only way we would know that what kind of capability you have so for that you have to make sure that you are working on industry relevant projects so the projects which are having problem statements from industry as well as the data sets from industry so you have to work on data sets with millions of rows huge data sets and then put those projects in your cv again the mistake that many people are doing over here is like they are using simple projects like titanic survival prediction house price prediction and then they are putting those projects in cv and expecting that based on those projects they would get shortlisted for the interview that's not going to happen you have to work on industry level projects and industrial data sets to make your cv look better in the market so if you follow these steps of like creating a right cv focusing on the right skill sets from your previous experience and working on the relevant industry level projects then you would definitely get shortlisted for the interview then the networking part so networking is very very important i would tell you i i was having chat with one of the person he was student and when i had look at his cv his cv was not that strong so i felt that his cv needs more improvement but even with that cv he was able to get 3 to 4 interview calls and when i asked him like how is doing it the main reason for that was networking that person was approaching multiple hiring managers on platforms like linkedin and through that he was building the network and based on that he was able to get interview calls because you have to make sure that your cv is landing the right table so basically if your cv is landing the hiring manager table right you have chances of your cv getting seen and you have chances of getting shortlisted for the interview that's why it is very important that you build your network on linkedin so based on the projects which you have built you can create some linkedin posts that would help you to attract the attention of recruiters as well as hiring managers whenever you see any hiring posts on linkedin try to approach the hiring managers I would tell you it's not going to happen that you would approach just three to four hiring managers and then all of them would reply you and give you interview call. That's not going to happen. But you can try. You can try to approach at least twenty to thirty people, and I'm very sure that at least two to three of them would reply you, and at least one of them would help you to get interview call. That's why the networking part on LinkedIn is very very important. So if you follow the CV guidelines as well as the networking part, your second step of getting shortlisted for the data science interview would be solved. Now the third step is how to actually crack the interview right now you got shortlisted for the interview but you have to crack the interview as well right now when it comes down to data science interview there are various kind of skill sets which are evaluated first is technical skills and the non technical skills so in technical skills you would be asked to write small programs in python and sql programming so for that you have to practice throughout your learning journey and specifically when you start your job applications you can also practice 
on platforms like Geeks for Geeks, Hacker Rank, and if you're targeting top product based companies, you can also practice on lead code. Because for programming, there is no shortcut. You have to spend time in practicing those kind of codes. Only then you would be able to solve those programming questions in short period of time during the interview. So that practice needs to be done throughout the program as well as at the end of the sessions where you are trying to target job applications. The second skill set on the technical side which is evaluated is your basic understanding of statistics and machine learning. So for that again you have to make sure that you are understanding every algorithm well, in which cases that algorithm performs well, where is the overfitting scenario, how you can tune the hyperparameters, all those things you should be able to answer. Then the next part within the technical round is you should be able to talk confidently about all the projects which you have on your CV. Because one of the things where people really struggle is explaining the projects. And as a hiring manager, I would tell you, if the candidate is not able to explain the projects which are mentioned on his or her CV, right? That's a very negative sign. So you have to practice about explaining the projects on your CV. And if you get any technical questions on the projects, right, you should be able to answer those. On the non-technical sides, throughout the interview, you are evaluated on your communication skill, your business skill, your domain understanding, as well as your stakeholder management, so you have to make sure that you're communicating the things in a right way because as a data scientist i would tell you you would spend a lot of time speaking with the data engineering team to get the data speaking with data visualization team to create the visualizations speaking with stakeholders for whom you are building your data science models then speaking with subject matter experts who would help you to understand the data that's why the non-technical skills are also very very important and along with that i would recommend you to do thorough preparation with respect to the interviews, all kind of potential questions that might come. You have to really practice for all those questions. And if possible, try to get your CV reviewed by industry experts. Try to get one or two mock interviews with the industry experts because that would really, really prepare you well. Because out of the 100 applications received for any job, I would tell you only 10 to 15 applications make you to the interview stage. So most important stage is obviously the second stage, how to get shortlisted for the interview. So if you create your CV in a good way, do a lot of networking, I'm very sure that you would get shortlisted for the interview. Then you are like reducing your competition from 100 people to just 10 to 15 people. And then within that, if you have to stay into first or second person, right, who's going to get that job offer, you have to really practice for the interviews as well. And if you do that, I'm very sure that you would be able to successfully get the job in data science in 2024. So I hope you found some useful tips in this video and thanks for watching the video. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.